What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. Today's Monday. We are closed tomorrow. And I was gonna try to give you guys another update of the, the demolition they've been doing, but it's really not any different. I don't know if they cleaned out a little bit more maybe, but I mean, it looks the same. So they can't really do much more until they tear down the wall in between the suites. And at that point, we're gonna have to close. So they're waiting for permits for that before, you know, before they start, obviously. So um, if the demolition's done, then they're done working until the permits are done because they, they can demo all they want, but they need permits to build anything. So they have, still have to tear out that one wall, like I said, they have to build the other wall across to block the back room off and then they have to put in the door and then like redo the ceiling and the flooring and all the 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 HVAC and the electrical and all that kind of stuff so yeah there's still a lot to do and unfortunately until they do that update I'm not gonna or until they get the permit I'm not really gonna have another update for you uh, but that should be in just a couple weeks so we'll see what happens but I'm excited they're taking the dumpster away Finally, let's watch him do it. I think he's got to straighten out. Oh, can you make sure that those are empty? Yeah, can you take them? <laughs> it's so cool. Dang, he just like drove up and got in the correct spot in the first try. This guy's a pro. It's got like a giant hook that grabs into the middle and then it pulls it up like with a big, like a big bike chain looking thing. I mean, that's what it is, but it's giant. But he didn't even like line it up. He just drove up, backed up once and was in the perfect spot. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yay, now it's leaving. And they left behind some water and some bark chips. Hi. Hi. Devin. <laughs> God, Cooper. Devin, are you ready for today? <laughs> Absolutely, man. I'm ready to crush it. Yeah. Woo! Ryan. Yo. Are you also going to crush it? <laughs> nah. I'm gonna I'm gonna be chill and relax and let Devin crush it today. I'm, okay. I'm gonna, I'll let him get all the glory today. Fine. <laughs> Abby. What's up? Would you like to be part of the Crush It gang? Uh, I don't know. Ryan's out, so yeah, I, think I don't that know. Was Ryan, sorry. Okay. If we have two people crush it and two people chill, then it'll even out and I think we'll, we'll so. do okay. I think that'll be the perfect. The perfect it'll be the perfect day. Yeah. So let's make a lot of sales. Okay. Let's not take any trade-ins that aren't. Hundred dollar and sixty four games. Okay. Or Game Boy. What Boys. is that like? Isn't that like five games? Not if you can't complete in box. Okay. Then it then it's like twenty. Okay. <laughs> and let's get a lot of Game Boy colors. Yeah, we need those. We need those. Okay, Ryan. Uh, so tell me the story. What? So what have you guys been doing today? So you and Devin. Devin's been replacing pin connectors on NESs. Um, we have a lot of them, like a big stack of them. Like 20, 30? Yeah, like 30 or something. Um, and uh, he was uh, opening up one to replace a uh, pin connector in, and uh, it's very gross inside. So um, there was something living. We have found all in sorts of things in consoles. Yeah, we found, bu we like found kinds bugs. We found bugs, pennies, crayons. Yeah. Paper clips, all sorts yeah. of, you know, whatever. Crazy. <laughs> but this is the first time we found something like this. Yeah, so, uh, so <laughs> if, uh, if you're queasy or if you have a problem seeing, like, creatures that used to be living and are not anymore, <laughs> um, you might want to look away now. Uh, so what you can see right here is one little guy. It's the little mouser. You can see his head there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then inside the NES, it looks like there's another one or maybe two more that were huddled there together. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's uh, it's pretty sad. Um, and kinda... I mean, other, I mean, aside from that, look at all the rust and like... Yeah, the corrosion and there's a bunch of 
mouse poop on this side. The first thing I noticed was the droppings, and I was like, that's weird. Why would they be like in yeah. and out of there? And then I looked on the other side and I was like, oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Man. It kind of looks like they were trying to chew their way out too. It's kind of sad. Yeah. Um, Who knows how long ago too. Like, yeah, this could have been like many years ago. I mean, this could have been, yeah, this could have been 30 years ago. Quite a yeah. long time for like the rust that's in there and stuff. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. So sorry if, uh, made any of you sad yeah. that's an interesting Those thing to find slugs. on your first day of <laughs> yeah. open up the nintendo yeah i was not expecting yeah that. what that's luck crazy. man i guess so <laughs> i guess so yeah that's wow. crazy that's wild yeah it's pretty insane well, well back to work, back to work. <laughs> <laughs> if i mean i don't know if this can be cleaned out if, I don't know if I want to. I, I mean, don't. if we took it in, we obviously tested it at some point, so it yeah, at least I'm, like I'm turned, sure it turned on. on. Yeah, but if it was in the stack, it, then it, it must have needed a new pin connector. So it needs uh, some real deep cleaning um, if we're gonna sell it. <laughs> and I don't know how to. Clean. It's probably not worth. worth I don't. It. I don't think it's really worth it. <laughs> yeah. So I would say go ahead and take the door because I know that the door on one of the other ones was messed up. Yeah, so I take do the that. door, take the little cover on the bottom, okay. and just, you know, yeah. unfortunately toss the rest. Yeah, we'll let, we'll let them rest in peace in the trash. That's, that's a good joke, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to have Devin and Ryan open Yo. these two packages here, which are from the same person. What up, Pete? But before that, check out all these. There's another stack yeah. somewhere, but... I put it on the floor. Devin changed all the pin connectors. Yeah. Awesome. Your fastest awesome. time? Six minutes and 30 seconds. Nice. To change one out, yeah. It's not bad. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. That's awesome. So on Thursday, we'll have Naven test everything, and hopefully they'll all be good to go. These have been stacked up behind the counter for how long? A while. <laughs> a like, very long time. Every time we'd get know. a new one, we would just, yeah. like, add it to the pile. Yeah, we just stack <laughs> them on top. <laughs> all right, all you got right. a note? Cool, yeah. So this one just says, um, excited for your store expansion. Yes. yes. That's it? So are we. Yes, all set. Okay, this is from Greg. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Looks like we got some Wii games. First up, Battalion Wars 2. Ooh. Yeah. It does say that these are all complete in his note, by the way. Just want to note that. Oh, cool. Sweet. Yeah. Just grab them. Lego, The Lord of the Rings, Tenshu Shadow Assassins. We play Super Monkey Ball Step and Roll. That's pretty cool. I might Is that like that the one. balance board one? I like that one. I want That's that cool. One. <laughs> That's awesome. Monster Hunter 3. Nice. Or Try. Legend of Spyro, Dawn of the Dragon. Rayman, Raving Rabbids. Two. Two. Ooh. That's probably like the best stack right there. So Back you should probably the do the other one. Oh, <laughs> fine. Back to the future. That's a good one. I might want that one too. <laughs> you want to do that? No. Yeah, I'll do the sec. <laughs> this okay. stuff has better stuff. We'll do this last. <laughs> okay, so we got Destroy All Humans, Big Willy Unleashed. Didn't even know that was yeah. there. That's really cool. Um, Boom Blocks. Boom Blocks. Boom Blocks. Woo! It's a fun game. It's a That's Steven cool. Spielberg. Really? Game. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's on the front right above. That there. is yeah. shocking. <laughs> <laughs> we got a bust to move bash. Yeah. Sounds fun. Up to eight players. It's cool. Love bust to move. Uh, Rayman Raving Rabbits. Or Rabbids. First yeah. one, I guess. Yep. And then we got uh, Legend of Spyro the Eternal Knight. Yeah. Nice. Bash Party. Ooh. Boom Blocks Bash Party. Nice. Heck yeah. Very cool. Yeah. Don't show that one. Don't show that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, Big Brain Academy, We Degree. That's useful. <laughs> uh, okay, we got MLB Power Pros 2008. Looks good. MLB Power Pros. No specified year. <laughs> and uh, Dead Rising. Nice. It's like chop till you drop. Oh, God. Pretty cool. <laughs> good little sack. Nice. I might, I might take that one too. <laughs> this is the one that I told him not to show. Disaster Day of Crisis. It's a PAL import, but it's a PAL exclusive, and I was gonna be keeping that one. Nice. It's like a, it's like a five dollar game. <laughs> All right. 
So for my stack, got Bomberman Land. Got Generator Rex. I thought you got, said these are the better games. That's what she said. <laughs> I, yeah, keep going. Samba de Amigo. Amigo. Yeah. A sealed Metroid Prime Other M or whatever. Or just Metroid Other M. Whatever. You know how many sealed copies of this game we have? <laughs> Probably game. like 10. I honestly love that game. <laughs> Animal Crossing, City Folk. Okay, that's a good Classic. One. Nice. Love that one. Pandora's Tower. That one looks really cool. It's like a horror mm, game. It's really good. into my pile. It's expensive. <laughs> Godzilla Unleashed. That's a good one. Cool. And that's it. That's like, that's like one of three Wii games I've ever played is Pandora's Tower. Okay. And that box is from the same guy. Yep. Oops. There might be another note in there. There is. Because this note only starts I get to read this notes. one. Wait. Does it say anything? Or is it just a screenshot of the email? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, there's nothing. Okay. Yeah, nothing interesting on here. Nothing Some that the like, peeps need to know. Yeah, nothing that they need to know. It, there's a sort of, like, conversation that you've had with them on there. Yeah, it's but. just a screenshot of the email. Yeah, that's it. All right. Go Pop forward. in. Go nuts. Uh, like a lot bugs on your butts. <laughs> 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 Ryan's nice. gonna go bananas. Go bananas! <laughs> You've seen that American Dad where Steve goes bananas, right? Mm -mm. But have you seen the Simpsons episode where they're racing fruit and Ralph throws it down a banana? <laughs> <laughs> and he says, go banana. <laughs> Okay, anyways, got a sealed control. Pretty sure we have some. We have a lot of those, sealed. yeah. yeah. Alright, got Ninja Gaiden 2. That's pretty cool. Ooh, folklore. That, that looks cool. kind of cool, yeah. It is really cool. Hmm. That's pretty Hunter for PS2. Ooh. Ooh. Japanese. That's cool. Everybody's Golf 3. That's pretty awesome. The that's, Mega uh, Hits version. <laughs> it's like greatest hits. Yeah, these are the people that make uh, Hot Shots Golf. Oh, nice. Yeah. And Everybody's Tennis. Yeah, they actually switched their name to Everybody's Golf for, like, the uh, current gen and last gen, I think. Whatever. Ryan loves golf games. <laughs> oh, Hot Wait, Shots Wait until last year. Okay. Oh, all right. Pocket Bike Racer. Sealed. Nice. nice. We got one of those traded in, Ooh, This one's cool. Capcom Digital Collection. Sealed. <laughs> There's a little tear in the sealed. And that's all right. Ooh, Subnautica nice. Sealed. Such a good That's game. Cool. Oh gosh, I love that game. That's awesome. I kind of want that. <laughs> Did you ever beat no it? No More Heroes 1. No. Too scary. Got okay. close, though. Yeah. Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword being remastered. Woo! Such a good one. Onimusha 2. Samurai's D Destiny. <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> you want to do All right, stuff? I'll do some. Uh, let's see. We got a Nervous Breakdown. On the nice. Nintendo DS. <laughs> Very it's kind of cool. water damaged. Kind Smash of... for 3DS. Nice. Very nice. good. Nice. New Leaf. Probably nice. the best Animal Crossing. I have to mm. agree. No. no. I <laughs> do not. It's, it's better than New Horizons. Not even close. Not I better than City great. Folk. I think it's great. So then we got uh, PlayStation 3 Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Very good. Nice, nice. Uh, Ninja Gaiden 3. Very, cool. Very nice. Um, Xbox 360, Yaiba, Ninja Gaiden Z. Ooh. Nice. nice. Skate 2, fun. Awesome. Really fun. Ooh, nice. And SSX yeah. for the PlayStation 2. We nice. got kind of a mix Classic. and mash pile here. Uh, PS4, Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no More Heroes 2, Desperate Struggle, which I think, didn't we already go through that one? Uh, we had a No More Heroes 1. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. so no More Heroes 2 is very expensive. Yes. Yeah. Nice. Okay. That's like 80 bucks, I think. Well, it might go back down because they are bringing it onto the Switch. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Then it'll go up. Yeah. And we got a, for the Wii, Need for Speed Nitro. I didn't even know that was Looks fun. <laughs> I don't know how you'd play that with the Wii, Wii controller. Oh, well, I guess, yeah, you could. Probably the steering, steering wheel. wheel. Steering wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Burnout 1, PlayStation 2. Yeah. Very good. Burnout Dominator. 
Battle Raging Ignited. Ooh. Yes. Very cool. Battle Racing. Okay. All right, one last stack. We're going to have to stack. share this one. Okay. <laughs> you can go for it. Okay. I might have the cooler stuff, though. Oh, well. That's, uh, that's pretty yeah. fair. Yeah, it's pretty fair. All right. Well, got a sealed Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Pretty cool. Another sealed Steam World Dig 2. I Another love that game. game. I should have said. Sorry. Ooh, super rare. Steam World Quest. Hand of... Gilgamesh, Gilgamesh, I don't know. And then we got Steam World Heist and Steam World Dig. I think. Fist of Dirt. Oh, a Fist of Dirt. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dual pack. That one's actually pretty, pretty cool. Nice. I like that. Super awesome. Very cool. Last of the Switch games here. Got a Tennis World Tour, Roland Garros edition. <laughs> I wouldn't know. <laughs> uh, then we got Mutant Football League Dynasty Edition. Looks sick. Ryan wants that one. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> and then we got Trine Series 1 through 3. Are that, cool is that style. on the cartridge or is there a download code? Cartridge. Cool. Because mm. there's a Trine collection that only one of them's on the cartridge itself. The rest is all download code. I see. Mm. Yeah, then we got Trine 4, The Nightmare Prince. Ooh, like the art cool it's pretty cool and then last one we've got the wonderful 101 we you port remastered and cool it's looking. sealed oh yeah, yeah. It's sealed. thanks greg <laughs> 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 just doesn't want to be in the background <laughs> oh sorry um uh, this is from k um from it just says K Baker on it. And it's in a GameStop box. It has a note in here. The note says, says please don't read my last name. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just have to be it says, what up peeps, thank you for making this purchase. My wife and I started watching your YouTube channel about a year ago, and it's one of our favorite parts of the day. We love seeing all the trade and the work shenanigans. Can't wait to make a trip to see the store one day. Post expansion. Congrats on all the success, and we wish the best for everyone. Uh, Keegan and Hillary. And then it has the information. I think it's only one item. That's what it seems <laughs> like. Oh, I know what it is. What is it? It's a PS1 game. Mm. For me? You can't afford it. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know? That was a little hard. <laughs> I just don't like to buy expensive games. Yeah. That's why like, usually when not worth it. you were looking at Pandora's <laughs> Tower, I was like, that's an expensive game. <laughs> I'm still interested. It's a good game, though. It's kind of, so it's about, like, this girl who gets cursed, and you have to bring her, like, meat, like, monster meat. Are you sure yes. you're talking about the same game? Yeah. yeah. She's feeding right there. Feeding you have to bring meat. her, it's like a time-based game, so if you don't bring her meat within, like, three days, you lose the game. Nice. So you have to come back to her every single time. That's dumb. <laughs> it's a really difficult game. But she's like got a tattoo and everything. It's interesting. She gets cursed. I don't remember oh. the backstory. Oh, okay. I thought that was like a different game. It looked different. Oh, this is very difficult. Because it's saran wrap or clean wrap, whatever you want to call it. But it feels like there's no manual. Stretch wrapped. No. There should be a manual. Ah, that's why it's expensive. Oh, nope. So we got Persona Revelation series. There is a manual. Ooh. The second disc was just kind of hanging out, though. But yeah. Nice. Very expensive game. Yeah, I'm not interested. Nice. <laughs> it's, it's like not because of the price. It's because I don't really care about Persona yet. <laughs> that's fair. But it is very expensive. Mm. I can't remember the exact price, but it's like three fifty, four hundred. Yeah, sounds about right. This must be like the first one. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's cool. Nice. It must be pretty cool. Persona One. Persona Two is also very expensive. <laughs> yeah. Is Persona Two on the PSP, or am I wrong about that? There are personas on PSP, but I. The second one? Well, there is, but it might just be a remake of the second one on PS1. Mm. I don't know. Here's another box. Who's this, this is from? From Brian in uh, Pennsylvania. Did my dad move? <laughs> this says, "Thanks for the deal. Best wishes to all of Double Jump." And then it has the amount. Okay. Oh my god. Oh boy. What is it? It is a bunch of 
and Blu-ray. <laughs> Not all of it. A lot of it. We have Kingdom of Heaven, director's Not a lot. cut. No Country for Old Men. Nice. Get him <laughs> to the Greek. Okay. <laughs> Shutter Island. <laughs> that was good. Up. Ooh. What? It's a decent oh, one. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> True Grit. It's good. Can I borrow it? <laughs> Bring it back on Thursday. <laughs> the original one of this and this one is pretty good. I like them PS4. both. We have The Dark Knight. No, I, don't. I, I don't have. <laughs> 10,000 BC. <laughs> I could probably murder this, I guess. Yeah. We have Night at the Museum. Abby loves that movie. <laughs> That's the only movie I can stand Ben Stiller in, so. Oh, really? Yeah. And then we have we 2012. I, I remember. I don't think that? she's seen a lot of Ben Stiller movies. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I remember watching this and like everybody was like, oh my god. Because it came like, didn't come out like 2010 or something. I think it came out before 2012. Yeah. And like I went to watch it and it wasn't that. It was, it was not bad. So we have some super rare games. We have Tricky Towers. The company, not the yeah. actual rarity. <laughs> we have Chroma Squad. Octahedron. Another Steam World collection. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have that Octahedron game. We have Lone Wolf. We also don't have that one. There's like a booklet in the back. Um, Mutant Muds collection. Be careful with that one. This is already open. I know. The this is Lovers in a Dangerous t uh, Space Time. Do you want to tell people about... <laughs> Remember? You so the bag like is open, but the game inside is factory sealed. That is super rare. Is it number four? Didn't you have that it game? It says it on the spine. Like, sold it. For yep, number, four. number four. So when that game came out, we... We were buying all the Super Rare games as they came out because they're only 30 bucks. And I looked them up at one point and Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time was like $600. So we sold our second copy. And we sold it to a viewer. Ooh. Did we? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we sold mm. it to a viewer. Well, we sold our second one, so. Okay, Inception for Blu-ray. I don't think it's going for 600 anymore, but it is at least a couple hundred still. Fire Emblem Warrior sealed. Sonic Forces sealed. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Featuring new courses so based on Mario Odyssey. So nice. there were two releases of Treasure Tracker, one before that didn't have that included. Hmm. Uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2. Awesome. This looks like uh, I want to play this game. <laughs> what is it? Come and vis visit Trooper Brook. Mm. We have that game. Looks like a mystery game. Um, Sexy Brutale. Yeah. That looks kind of weird. Is that another lone wolf? Uh, yeah, we have another lone wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Sealed Power Rangers Battle for the Grid. Limited run. Um, Freedom Planet Limited Run Sealed. And then we have Two Tribes 2001 to 2019 Mega Pack. So it's, it says uh, Toki it's Tori and, and Rive. Yep. And then we have Assault Android Cactus. <laughs> we definitely don't have that one. This one kind of World cool. of God. World of Goo. Ooh. Oh, yeah. it looks like Okay. <laughs> Watch Dogs. Oh, yeah. Ooh, the Target the Edition. Game. Very rare. This is actually a really fun game. Have you played it on the Wii? No? Never what played it? it. World of Goo. Looks Earthlock. Cool. It's fun. It's like a build, uh, like you build like bridges and stuff. Oh, yeah, cool. What is it's it? Really simple, I don't know. But it's still really fun. <laughs> it's like three words put, to put together. Mech Extermination Force. I don't approve. Um, Wolverblade? Yeah. Machinarium. Yeah. And then we have Monster Energy. Ooh, Ryan Super wants Cross that one. Three. <laughs> we have Green Day Rock Band. Then we have Battle for Bikini Bottom, Rehydrated, Team Sonic Racing. We got some N64 games, but there's a few more Switch ones. Oh god. Like when I was coming up with a uh, for a price with this guy, he was like, like I, I made him an offer, and he's like, he like countered with a higher number. He's like, he's like, I know there's a lot of closet games in here. <laughs> <laughs> we have Street Power Soccer. <laughs> the Escapist Complete Edition from Limited Run. Gear Club 2 Unlimited Porsche Edition. <gasps> and Gear Club 2 Unlimited. 
Not yeah. the Porsche edition, though. Not the Porsche Correct. edition. We Sad. have It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Season 5. Red. <laughs> One of these that we sold today. I don't really know why. <laughs> it was in the two for a dollar bin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then we have so Monster Trucks <laughs> Truck Madness 64. The cool. cartridge is in there. I don't know if the manual is. That looks cool. We have Off Road Challenge again. This Rockstar game? The cartridge is in there. Top Gear Overdrive. Cartridge is in there. WCW versus NWO World Tour. Cartridge is in there. And then. Some of these may maybe don't have manuals. Turok 2. It's in there. So cool. ah. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> Ooh. Like Ooh, NBA very, Live 99. Very ugly. Very ugly. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's beautiful. It's got character. GT64, also very ugly. Oh, so sad. We have F1 World Grand Prix. It's in there. Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. Really rough condition on the box. Yeah, unfortunately. There. Okay. <laughs> Diablo 3, Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3, Skylanders, Black Ops 2. Dead Island Riptide Special Edition, Dark Souls 2, Woo. Batman <laughs> Arkham City, Lego Rock Band, Rock Band 2, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Sports Champions, So many PS3 games. Yeah. We have Disney Infinity 2.0, Marvel Superhero Squad, Star Wars Force Unleashed 2, Star Wars Force Unleashed, The Beatles Rock Band, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm Generations, NBA 08, Dead Island, Assassin's Creed 3, the worst Assassin's Creed game of all. Is it Naruto or Naruto? Naruto. I, I try to say that, but sometimes I still say Naruto. <laughs> EA Masters, Dead Island Game of the Year Edition, Battlefield 3, Rock Band 3, Track Pack Classic Rock, Borderlands 2. Does that mean it's Baruto? Baruto, yeah. Yeah. I don't really know why this one is bubble wrap. I thought it was going to be super important. Um, and we have Rock Band 3 for the last game. This is probably the most expensive PS3 game out of there. All right, I'm gonna open up the last box, which I think is mostly just going it's to not be. It's the last box. Oh, it's not. There's one more. This is the last one I'm doing. Abby can open up the other one. Yeah. <laughs> they should mostly be plushies, but there could be a couple other things. Oh, it's a oh yeah. Looks like some plushies. All right. We have. Giant oh. poor chicks. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Those look like awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Those are so cool. And then I don't you might, even you okay, might know I got these a bunch better. of got a bunch of anime plushies. I don't even know what they're from. Oh I see some Dorava. They were they were on sale. They were on like clearance, so I bought some. So do do ra ra ra? Oh okay. Ra -ra -ra. So some do ra 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 plushies. <laughs> yeah. Is that the same? Soul. Mm, no. Soul eater. Yep. Nice. Just gonna drop these on the floor. Soul eater was good. That's also do ra ra ra. Thank you. Looks like it. And this is oh same thing. Do ra ra ra. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Panda go panda. <laughs> I have no idea what any of these are. That's I think the one we already showed. Uh, this looks is familiar. Haruchi Chan Suzumiya. <laughs> mm, I don't know it. <laughs> Nyorin. Teruya san. <laughs> there you go. That one. Yeah. <laughs> Nagima? Hmm, probably. <laughs> another one of those. 
is this guy. Hmm. He looks cool. What's he from? Tiger Bunny? <laughs> or Tiger and Bunny? <laughs> this guy from Tiger and Bunny as well. Did, what is it, Conan something? Is that Conan? Case closed. No way. Oh, cool. We've had some yeah. of these before. Yeah. This Conan. one is also yep. Tiger and Bunny. But yes, his name is Conan. This guy from Dura Ra Ra. Yep. Another Conan. Then we have Silver Sonic. Nice. King D D D. Yeah. Giant Wind Waker Link. <laughs> mm. Nice. Very nice. Someone requested these. We got some Wallaby. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have a bunch of the smaller Ooh. Pokemon keychain plushies. Yeah, I remember those. Got to restock on those. Nice. And then Breath of the Wild, Big Link. <laughs> Tingle. Yeah. Brian's favorite. <laughs> and then we have those those uh, smaller Pokemon figures mm. that um, they're... I can't remember the like the brand or whatever, but uh, we got some more. They're not the same exact series, but they're like kind of the same thing. Um, Are they Tomi? Takara, oh. Takara Tomi or Tommy, whatever. Uh, but these ones, they've had them forever. I've just never ordered them because they were always more expensive to order than what I'd even want to sell them for. Hmm. But they finally put them on clearance. So that's the only reason we bought the other ones is because those were on clearance. Most of those yeah. are, sold, are sold out now. Hmm. But these ones, they finally put on clearance. So we have oh, Koopa. Awesome. And I think we got five of each. So there's, I think, five of those. And then five of this guy. I think it's like Critter Bug or something. Oh, yeah, hmm. I think you're right. And then sure. last, this is something that I've wanted to buy for a while, and I wasn't sure if anyone would be interested, and the price is, they're not cheap, so I've been hesitant, but I was making the order anyway, so I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So we have the blind box Pokemon figures mm. that we've gotten from a different supplier that Ooh. have been doing really, really well. So this is a blind box Monster Hunter That is thing. cool. So there are... Nice. They're much bigger, uh, but this is Capcom Figure Builder something plus volume 12. Um, and so you get a figure plus like some little base pieces, I guess. And I, I think they kind of like connect together, hmm. but they have, I just bought one. They have a ton of different series available and I can get these from three of our different suppliers mm. and they all, sometimes they have different versions. So That's if cool. these do really, really well, if this is something that you guys are interested in, we can definitely get more. So this is a, what is it? This is only a six pack because yeah. they're so big. Um, but I think the retail on these is like, it's, I don't think it's more than 10 bucks a figure, but it, I think it's close to that. Hmm. So they're not cheap which is why I haven't gotten them till now, but hopefully these will sell. And like I said, if they do, we can get some more. Okay, we have a box. This is from uh, Nathan. This is just a bunch of like filler stuff, things that like he like doesn't sell, won't sell, sell or like he just, it goes in his junk pile. So <laughs> we sometimes every once in a while we do like a bulk like buyout from him. Um, have quite a few just like disc only ones they won't be available unless we have the cases for them um and i think we had a good chunk of these cases okay destiny carnival games <laughs> something you just like that. flew off of the counter yeah top. i don't um, even know where this came from motor mayhem neither do i this little I don't, know. I don't know where that came from. I don't from. know where it came from either. That's weird. <laughs> NBA Ballers. True Crime Streets of LA. We can hear you guys whispering. <laughs> Halo 4. I'm not quiet. Final Fantasy 8 Disc 2. Outdoor Challenge. Namco Museum Remix. Test Drive Off-Road Wide Open. Gears of War Judgment. I almost said Gears of Judgment. Tomb Raider 3. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, 007 Nightfire, Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer, ATV Offer Fury, Splinter Cell Double Agent, 
Skate 3, Wipeout 2, Madden 17, Spider-Man, oh my god, GT <laughs> 2, G2, Star Wars Force Unleashed, Victorious, True Crime, New York City, We Play, <laughs> and then... Is this a demo? It looks like it, but I don't know. This looks like a demo, but I don't think it is. It like fits the artwork. It's, it's not, it's a, it's a packing game. It's a it's free a Xbox Live packing mm. game. So it is Mech Assault 2 Lone Wolf and uh, Arcade. Farmtopia. It is in there. Nice. I know that Jess wants this. <laughs> Do you want to look at it? Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I like looked at him like Jess would like this. <laughs> uh, random cables for the N64. Stealth with the manual. Nice. And a uh, mm, slip cover. <laughs> then we have a bag of stuff. We have Run and Stimpy Space Cadet Adventures. Star Wars Flight of the Falcon. There's a Bugs Bunny in here. Force Unleashed 2. A Neopets. Street Fighter, or Pro Street Need for Speed. I don't know why I said Street Fighter. 007 and a Tony Hawk game in there. Two guides, Golden Goldeneye, 007, 007 Goldeneye, whatever. Duke Nukem 64. Can we just like pan over this stuff? And then we can show this. We're gonna show these two and then, uh, yeah. Can you, can you go away? <laughs> no. Oh. I know people like the long vlogs, but they can't be too long. <laughs> yeah, as long as I want them to be. No. <laughs> okay, we have one more disc only, and that is Titanfall. And then we have two N64 games, and they are Bassmasters and Madden. Nah, nice. nah. Whoa. And then all the rest of these are in here in this box. <laughs> all right. So we got some Xbox One. Do you know if all these are complete? No. Or I mean like uh, with disc? Nope. So these could be empty guys, just to let you know. I'm trying to get a good view of them. Feel free to pause whenever you want to look. Or skip over this entire segment. Yeah, that's fine too. <laughs> all right, oh. and then watch the whole video. these ones. There's some PS4, ooh. Do you need that one, Ryan? Oh, there's a dinosaur riding oh. one. This might be mine. That's okay. You can have it. You might get sick know. of it. It's Dino Frontier. Ooh. Never mind. I watched somebody play Ryan, it. Ryan, look. I wasn't down with it. Abby's favorite. Go, oh my gosh. Okay. Yay. I'll take it. All right. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> All right, guys. So I know that you like to see the trades one by one when I tried for a few days to just show you the spines a lot of people complained about it but i know the video is already super super long and look at that stack of 360 i'm not going to show you guys those individually but also look at that stack of vita we're definitely going through those so first up for trade-ins today we have an nes classic is it, did it not come with a controller i did oh well it's controller somewhere and then we got a complete inbox i mean maybe even unused um, HD DVD player. It still has the Donkey Kong movie in there. It's got all the baggies. Everything is like new, if not brand new. It's okay. definitely been opened, but I don't know. Somebody commented, as a baldy, there's a probably zero. There's probably zero chance I could get a job there on our video. <laughs> yeah, probably. <It's> funny. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, of course. We also have a Connect in the box. This 360 in the box, which this is the first model, right, Abby? The white one. Yeah. We don't normally take this version, He's but owner. got this from the original owner. He sold us lots of stuff, never had an issue with anything. He takes extremely good care of his stuff, so I'm not really too worried about that. Um, also got a Vita from him. It's still, it's open because we have to restore it first, but there it is. And then portable charger for that. One original Xbox game. And then three Xbox One games, UFC 3, NBA 2K18, and Destiny 2. Also, from the same guy, we got these empty boxes here. PS4 and Xbox One box. We just priced them out at like five bucks a piece. We also got that Xbox 360 traded in with two remotes. 
unfortunately it does not have a hard drive so it's not going to be put out for sale yet there's a tag on it just so we can keep track of it in our system but we don't sell them without hard drives we also got another nes today i don't know if it was that exact one but i know ryan told me that we got one <laughs> and then okay xbox 360 like i said we're just going to go through the spines there's nothing crazy in here but these three Xbox, these are actually original Xbox, but those are all factory sealed. Simpsons game is pretty cool. Lots of just common stuff. Fable Anniversary is cool. Condemned. But yeah, most of this stuff we already have a ton of copies of, and it's all just cheaper titles. For PS3, just three games. Sports Champion, Madden 08, Beatles Rock Band, nothing special. For DS with the case cases, we have Cake Mania, Pets, SpongeBob Drawn to Life, Disney Princess, and Nintendo Dogs, Chihuahua and Friends. One Genesis game, one GameCube game. For the Wii, we have Link's Crossbow Training, Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz, Sim Animals, Open Season, Tiger Woods, Wii Play, and Wii Fit. For PS2 today, we have Midnight Club. Out, out of the Shoot and NBA Live 09. And then for movies, we have Naruto, triple feature. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie. Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Uh, what is this? Ah, oh, My Goddess. And then uh, HD DVD, Born Supremacy. And then a couple strategy guides. We have Majora's Mask, Prima Guide, and Wind Waker, Nintendo Power Guide. This one is a little worn, as you can see, kind of scratched up. We have a blue DS Lite with all the stuff. Nice clean one. We have two 16 gig Vita memory cards, which is awesome. Mario Kart 7, Monsters Inc., Sega Smash Pack, Frogger's Adventures, Crash Purple, Flushed Away, and then Strawberry Shortcake for DS. For PS1, we have Crash Bandicoot, Crash 2, Midway's uh, Arcade's Greatest Hits, Final Fantasy 7, and Spec Ops Covert Assault. And then finally, onto the Vita games. There are a ton here. Ryan did buy a couple, and we forgot to show them before he left. Um, Tearaway, and then something Tearaway, else. and then two, like, two RPGs. Yeah. I can't remember what they were. They were, like, $25 games. So, here we have Ease, Memories of Celseta, Dragon's Crown, which he was going to buy, but I guess he didn't. Final Fantasy X, X, II, Rayman Origins, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Soul Sacrifice, Formula 1 2011, The Sly Cooper Collection, Need for Speed Most Wanted, uh, Mystery Chronicle, One Way Heroics, Little Big Planet, this is a PAL import, but the Vita is region free, Ben 10 Galactic Racing, MLB 13 The Show, Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate, Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed, Silent Hill, Book of Memories, one of the more expensive ones in the bundle uncharted golden abyss farming simulator 14 earth defense force 2 invaders from planet space this is a game that i've never seen before granted we don't get a ton of vita games but i think every other game here we've at least had once but except for that one army core of hell call of duty black ops declassified angry birds star wars metal gear hd collection persona 4 golden uh, fifa soccer 13 borderlands 2 Spy Hunter, Assassin's Creed 3 Liberation, Lumens Electronic Symphony, and Street Fighter vs. Tekken. So, those are all the trade-ins. I don't think there was anything else that we missed. Went through all the packages and everything. So, yeah. As soon as I can find a spot to put these, everything that we unboxed today will be out. Everything is in the system. It is super, super late. Abby stayed with me until about 12.30, then she left. It's currently 1.12 a.m. <laughs> so, been here for for a little while. Um, going on, what is that? Like 13 and a half hours or so. But uh, this is the last thing that I have to put out. So, these, obviously, the other Pokemon figures and all the plushies that we unboxed earlier today... Those are in the system. They're all put out. They're all ready to go. They're on the website. Same with all of the games that we unboxed. And Abby did most of the games. And I did the entire plushie and, and figure order. Um, so, like I said, it's all done. Well, all of it except this little stack. Or no, this little stack of boxed N64 games. The reason I didn't put this in 
is just because I honestly forgot until just now. <laughs> but, so that's the last thing that needs to go, and I'm not doing that tonight. Um, but yeah, everything else is in. So if you saw us open anything in today's vlog, or you saw anything traded in uh, that you were interested in, it's all on the website right now. Um, of course, by the time you see this, some of the stuff will have sold. Um, some of the stuff that I put out sold actually like maybe five minutes after I put it on the shelf. So some of the stuff, even at the point of filming right now, is already gone. But um, that's just people camping on the website waiting for stuff. Um, so I'm going to find room for, for these uh, Monster Hunter figures. I don't really know where. I'd like to put them here by the by the Pokemon ones. I'm going to have to move these plushies. But yeah, today was a fantastic day. We weren't super, super busy, so we had time to, you know, get some stuff done. Um, obviously, Ryan showed Devin how to change the pin connector in an NES, and then I guess Ryan showed him once, then he watched him do one, and he's like, okay, you're good to go. And then Devin did all of these and all of those. And they're all done. We need to test them, of course, to make sure that they're good to go. But uh, we'll probably have Naven do that on Thursday. But what's really awesome is that those NESs have been stacked up right... You, you like, see the PlayStation banner right there? That, that corner of the wall in the glass case, they've been stacked up there for months. And every time we get one traded in, if it needs a pin connector, it just gets stacked there with all the other ones. And now they're all done. So... That's pretty awesome. And uh, Devin was happy to do that. The one thing he told me yesterday, because I've asked everyone at the end of the day, like, how do you feel, you know, having finished your first day? Do you have any questions? What do you think? Or, you know, are there any issues you're having or just whatever it is? I want to know how people are feeling about stuff. And the one thing that he said is that, and it's not a, it's it's normal, but he was like, I just need to get used to everything because it's a lot of, it's a lot of doing different things and he's used to doing one thing over and over and over at a job you know so i think he worked at like starbucks or something so you're just making drinks all day but here you're testing stuff you're cleaning stuff you're answering the phone you're helping customers grab stuff out of the glass case you're pulling controllers and cables and stuff from the back you're resurfacing games there's a lot of different stuff you have to learn how to do and of course it takes time but that was one thing he said was like you know I just have to get used to the to the the process of doing multiple different things all the time. And so when he was tasked with replacing the NES pin connectors, he did that for hours and he enjoyed it because it was one thing he could focus his energy on and he got I mean he got comfortable enough to where he was timing himself to see how quickly he could do one, which that's super cool and I like to see that that he was getting into the work, you know what I mean? Like I'm extremely passionate about the business, I'm sure you guys know, because it's our business. We've built it from nothing, and I, probably to a fault, I like to be involved in every single aspect of it, and I, I definitely am guilty of micromanaging things, unfortunately, but it's, and I don't expect, I don't expect anyone who works for us to, to have the same passion for the business, because it's not their business. You know what I mean? And so anytime that Ryan gets excited about something involving the store, it always makes me feel really good because I feel like even if it's not their business, if they still get excited about it, then that means we're doing something right, not only as a store, but also as employers. And to see anyone be be happy or proud of the work that they're doing makes me feel good. And it makes me happy to know that the people that work here do enjoy it and they can find some sort of joy or fulfillment in doing the things that they're doing. And that's something that Abby and Devin talked about earlier when he was talking about p replacing the pin connectors. And Abby was saying like, yeah, it always feels really nice when, you know, a customer buys something that you that you in particular worked on or repaired or whatever, and then they come back and tell you it's working great. That makes you feel awesome knowing that that's really cool that I fixed that Nintendo, the customer bought it, came back and told us it's working great. 
that makes the person who repaired it feel awesome. And that's, that's just really good to see. So I'm very, very happy with the choices that we've made and the new hires that we have. Everyone is super, super awesome. I'm really glad that they are all you know, willing to be in the videos. I definitely appreciate that. We told everyone up front that although it's not a requirement, it's it's going to happen. There, At least you're going to be in the background if you don't want to actually be on camera. There's no way around it, but everyone was very cool with actually being filmed and all that kind of stuff. You guys have been submitting a lot of questions, which I'm internalizing. And next, you know, I say next week, but on Thursday, when we come back in, I will try to remember to to ask some of these questions and um, you guys wanted to know what Kyle's Twitch channel was. I still haven't figured that out. I haven't asked him, but we will find that out as well. So I think with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, yeah, today was a great day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this extremely long vlog. Please do not forget to smack the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow.